This is Yola Bankers, Yola Martinot Bankers family. Uh, you're going to hear Yola's voice with Annie's in just a few minutes, but this is Yola's daughter, Yolanda Lonnie Banker at that point before Coates. Here's Yola's voice talking about her own childhood. Again, please. Suzanne Godino. So that was uh, Suzanne Godino's, her Yola's grandmother. And uh, Yola's going to be talking a little bit in uh, her dialect, Italian dialect of Prustinenk. I don't know. Uh, okay, and your grandma's name on your dad's side was? Suzanne Godino. Say the name again, please. Suzanne Godino. They didn't have any money. What's your line? Because their, factory, their brick factory went broke and broke. And broke. <laughs> my grandpa, my grandpa, I tell my grandpa, I let a bricklayer in Italy. Her grandfather was okay, a bricklayer. He didn't like to work too much. No. Seems like he liked bricks, though. Huh? Seems like he liked bricks. Yeah. That's all he knew how to do, I think. Yolanda. How old were they about this time? Do you remember? I don't know. You don't know. Petro, Petro, my God, uh, late 20s. Mm -hmm. Eh, uh, uh, of course, yeah, it was, he say, say, Papa, I had a kid, you had a, me, no, you had a, Moina, and a, you had a la pivea. Moina, today, me, 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 Pahari, me, 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 Papa. He was the second oldest of all the children. There were, there were four children? Um, mm -hmm. Piccolo-li. Yeah. piccolo more than that. More? Mm -hmm. How come I only know about four? Well, he had a Dario. Uh, uh, yeah, Prima had a Easy Day. Dante. Dante there. Uh, Dario. Aldo. Ito. Oh, yeah. Those are all Dante's. Uh, Elsa. Dante's That's siblings. Six. There were six children. Your grandma and grandpa had six children, mm -hmm. and your dad was one of six children. Right. Nice. That out today. No, Monia ya la pedella. Monia was the oldest. Monia was the oldest. Yes. Eh, canta... That's the easy day. Yeah, easy day. Mm -hmm. Eh, canta la via 14 on, 14 on, a via da alenda, a pinare, a via da travaillo. And... So at 14, he went into the town of Pinarolo to work. Mm -hmm. Because before, they were living up in... San Secondo. Dante. Is who she's talking uh, about. Um, Ida on the left. Yola. A long time ago, he was called the guy who had provided the sword. He was called Garçon. English? When, a long time ago, they didn't treat the boys very nice that were poor and had to work, and they called them Garçon. And, um, so your dad started to work when he was 14. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jack to the and right they would make him get up. He worked in a restaurant. In the middle. And, he, and he's, uh, had to stay there. He didn't come home. He had to just, one probably in a corner someplace on the floor. And we had to find somebody. So I said, could we have somebody? No. Uh, Today, you see, in uh, the restaurant, Italian, yes, it was a bayon. At Piedef, at the, at the, at the Giri, you beat them, but not with electric beater. Beat the eggs. All by hand. So this is a dessert, right? Uh -huh. It's called Sambayon. In the black. And to do this, you take some eggs and beat them. Caviar, Piedef, Epic. 
così è, è tutto giù nella via da farlo lì e magari poi do e a quattro ore la mattina e lui lo ha usato così ha usato He had to get up at four o'clock in the morning. Grandpa and Magara, Magara andava a let, Magara almost ready. He didn't go to bed till seven. Yeah, eh. Kayoka, eh, um, Kayoka, eh, he would do now what Paul Busta da Major. And you don't think he had enough to eat either. In the black. Eh, Kata me, Grandpa, ah, uh, I'll end up, uh, to Wallo. When he went to see him, I uh, did oh no, sit up my the mega car. So you, uh, Grandpa came to see you, Dad, uh, and he saw he saw there wasn't the was it there and it was just uh, wasting away to nothing. Mm -hmm. So he said, "Come back home." In the yeah. black, it's Grandpa Robert's uh, mother, Grace. Yara la guerra. No, no, yara banco la guerra. Oh, hold on. Uh, How long did your dad stay working there when he was 14? I don't know. About maybe I a year? I don't know. No, I don't know. So, how, I mean, he wasn't going to school. No, oh, no, no. When did your dad uh, go to school and stop going to school? Oh, uh, not until I uh, got to try on. English? He just had to go three years. So he went maybe when he was how old? I don't know. Eight. The hell this. So he stopped going to school yeah. when he was about eight or ten. Mm -hmm. That he probably done the. Tell me how to say war. This doesn't Dante. have anything to do with what we're talking about now. But you said la guerra. This is how we say war. La guerra. War. La guerra. Interesting. Dante. Uh, I'm at sing uh, minute. Make it good. Grandpa Robert's mother and uh, uh, um, La Suiza. Suiza. Love so me. your dad decided to go to Switzerland. This is how we say Switzerland. La Suiza. Suiza. I don't know. Yolanda Lani sitting La Suiza. I say Pazga. Suiza or Suiza? No, no, Pas Suiza. Suiza, baby, sweet. More like Suiza? I don't know. Yeah, it could be. That's very common. Suiza. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 English? Yeah. He would deliver, he was a delivery boy on a bicycle. He uh, would deliver uh, fish. Piaia tanto, la Suiza, oh, la Suiza, la Suiza. This is how we say Switzerland. This, this is the right way to say Switzerland. La Suiza. Again? La Suiza. Switzerland. Switzerland. Ida on the left, Daniela. La Suiza. No, it's... On the right, uh, Grandpa's mother. Abolia istali, abolia uh, cambiaso citizenship. Ma, he how old was he now? He, he, wanted, he was 18. Wanted to change his... Abolia istali. Since 1776. In what town? Uh, Geneva. He wanted to stay in Switzerland. Probably Geneva. English? If you're going to be a citizen of Switzerland, you'll never be able to leave 
you'll never be able to go to Italy. Who made that rule? I don't know. That's what they told him. Yolanda so Lani. He won't ever be able to see his parents again or anybody. Yeah, he even though it's right on the other side. Yeah, he couldn't. He couldn't enter Italy at, at that time. Why at that time? I, I don't know why. It was a rule. That was the law. Mente. Oh, perché? Uh, in Italia, Davide da Davide. Davide da fa doi on and la and la uh, army. You had to, you had to, you had to be in the army for two years, even if there wasn't a a, a compulsory army duty in Italy. In Italy. Mi papà l'ha deciso, deciso, l'ha deciso, e da re, forse tu sei due on, e poi magari l'era free, you know, probably a papà da poor, he wasn't scared anymore of, of getting uh, fined or whatever they did to you when you didn't work compulsory. Oh, English? I did, I just did it. Dante I know, Yola the first, Yola. earlier. You, your dad wasn't scared anymore because... Well, because well, he wasn't worried about... Because why? Did he not... Did he already do his... No, no, he, he, had, he had not... I think he had to be maybe 21 or 20 or something like that. So he wasn't scared yet because he was only 18. Well, he thought... He wanted to get it out of the way. Mm-hmm. So what did he do? Yeah. So he went back to Italy to do his compulsory um, uh, training in the Army for two years. That was... Every, Every boy had to do that. 1963. Oh, yeah. I know. They didn't. They made you go by year of your birth. Every guy that was born in 1984 had to be in the service for two years. What year was your dad born in? 1983, I think. No, you got the right. 1893. My mother was born in 1894. And he was just finishing up his two years when the war came. World, World War. War One. So that meant he spent six years in the Army. And he says that was, of course, your one of your best six years. The six years he spent were about from ages what to what? Well, I think uh, 20 to 26. So that was a really hard blow. Just before we go too far, in Switzerland, uh, he liked Lake Geneva and oh, stuff. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. And Andava uh, and uh, and uh, Gira tut Lake Geneva, a piaia, a la via magara de Dimenia, a polia, a travaiava a pala Dimenia. On Sundays, he didn't have to work, so he liked to ride his bike around all of Lake Geneva, which is pretty big. Yolanda, yeah. Robert, Ida, era so John, era, era so divertiment. It was what? That one pleasure. For it fun. was fun. This is fun. So how do you say fun? Divertiment. Elle in Geneva, à la fête connaissance au Walter Simon. Who was a Swiss boy? At a Swiss. Si. How, how did you say uh, he was? You know, Swiss. A lot of Swiss. La Suisse, la Suisse, la Suisse. Et par là, c'est un peu français. Et Caio, Caio que mes papa parlava propre bien la voix française, mais Caio qu'il parla tanto quand il era en Suisse. He learned even more French in Switzerland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little accent, you know, mm -hmm. in Geneva. Yeah. What did he call Geneva? Geneva. Not Geneva or anything, no. Geneva. Robert, uh, what else did he uh, like to do in Switzerland? Did, did he go around anywhere else? Or? I don't know. I don't think so. Era, I don't know. Era. 
Okay, wait, just one second. Do you remember anything else about his time? Like, how long did he spend in Switzerland? Two years. Two, 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 two years. Mm -hmm. And uh, so Walter Simmons, then what happened to him? Well, Loli le nauta storia. That's another story. <laughs> I know, but it's something about uh, your parents finally had a, a market here. Right, San Gabriel. Kind of market. A little tiny grocery store. But that's all right. Okay, and, and at that time, what Annie, happened is you had the market there, and one day. Yeah, the Antichitmaka, San Gabriel. Maria, her wife is called Maria, Basque. English? She was from Basque, French, she was a French lady. Walter Simmons' wife. And um, there was an oriental store on their side of the street, but Maria, you miss my papa, a lot of across the street. And it, but my pocket been you did buy buy the little kilom loy. And look, I I I Walter is alright, so I lend the loy. And he soon become, but I, you know, because they didn't keep track of each other, so they didn't know where each other was. Uh, from Geneva to San Gabriel, California, <laughs> your chances of finding, you know. <laughs> and they looked at each other for a minute, and then they said, Dante, Walter. <laughs> because they'd been good friends. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. For two years, and then... And then they actually saw each other again. so sempre sta me sempre. English. They were always good friends after we visited them. That's Yola on the left, and then in the white pants, it's Yolanda, Robert, Bob, and then his brother, Lefty, uh, which is um, Paul, Banker, and Lefty's kids there, uh, Bonnie and Kim. Lefty was... Bob's younger brother, Robert's younger brother, and also taller. 